eBay is an American multinational corporation providing customer-to-customer -customer and business-to-customer sales services via the internet. On this site you can buy what sellers list as genuine haunted dolls. There are also standalone haunted doll purchasing websites, and sites dedicated to the adoption of haunted dolls, which allow community members to list haunted dolls and trade them with other members. Haunted dolls are also often collected to take on tours as part of cursed object exhibitions. The earliest report of a haunted doll goes back to Egypt where the enemies of Ramsey III attempted to use wax images of his likeliness to bring about his death. The dolls used in this ritual were said to be living and would curse anyone who bore their resemblance. So let's count down 5 haunted dolls that were sold on eBay. The owners assure eBay users this is not a joke. Apparently one vintage doll in a couple's antique store keeps removing itself from the shelf. Since they posted on eBay, the doll has upped the creepy ante and started pushing other items off the shelf. At least 8 or 9 times in the past year, the owners have found her somewhere other than the shelf she belongs on, usually in the middle of an aisle in a part of the store where she doesn't belong. One night the owner's daughter asked about the doll. The owners being hesitant showed her the eBay posting. The daughter then asked if she could see the doll. Not wanting to deal with it, they told her it was put away. Not 30 seconds later, they heard a loud banging sound that came from behind them. The doll had been put on a shelf behind a sign, and after observing it, the owner stated there was a visible dent in the sign. The owner of this doll warns that it requires high spirit maintenance. They state this doll is certainly not for a beginner or a casual collector. The doll is one of a group of dolls the seller got from an estate sale of a woman who worked in the children's ward in the Penthurst Asylum in Pennsylvania. The woman's name was Ivor. She worked at Penthurst for six years up until its doors were closed in 1987. She left a journal depicting many of the horrors these kids suffered on a daily basis. When the hospital was closed, many employees took property from them. Ivor chose to take several of the tattered dolls that were used to placate the poor kids. For some years, Ivor kept the dolls in a box in her attic. After her dream home was built, she decided to put the dolls on display. This turned out to be a huge mistake. Ivor died of mysterious circumstances about a year later. The owner says this doll communicates directly through thought. You can talk to it and he will answer, as long as you are looking into its eyes. The doll is female, but the spirit inhabiting the doll is in fact that of a young boy. He will also talk about the disgusting and horrid details of his short life at Penhurst. They warn that if you are emotionally fragile, you do not want this doll calling this spirit high maintenance. He requires interaction and attention all the time. He does not do well around children. So they recommended that if you were thinking of bidding on this doll and have children, look for something else. This doll came to their owner through their mother's dress shop in New Orleans. People would often give the owner's mother old haunted dolls that were too troublesome to take care of. She always accepted the dolls graciously and stated that as a gifted spiritual medium it was her duty to take care of these dolls. Most likely these dolls were given away because they were too active or too powerful for regular people. This particular doll was definitely one of those tough cases. Based on the type of energy that surrounds this doll, it's believed that she must have died violently and was most likely murdered. The doll let the owner believe this for a very long time. After posting the original story she became furious and lashed out. The owner said they could feel her invading their fours. The doll grew so upset she revealed to the owner her true backstory. She lied and made up the story about New Orleans because that's where the owner was from, and she thought by saying this the owner would believe her. The owner of this doll claims that it holds the spirit of a former female writer named Sorcha, who wrote popular stories under her father's name. Afraid that Sorcha would reveal herself and take all the fame away from him, her dad had her killed. Apparently the doll revealed this to the owner by causing her to pass out. The owner of this doll states she was coming out of a 7-Eleven gas station a couple of years ago. Two women who were in their late 40s asked her for spare change. Feeling sorry for them, she gave them a dollar and wished them well. One of the ladies stopped her and said wait. She then rummaged through her belongings and pulled out this doll. She said it wasn't necessary but the woman grabbed her hand and tightly cupped it with the other one. Looking at her dead in the eye, she said, you have to take this, we really appreciate your kindness. The woman threw the doll in her car and went on her way. About halfway home, her car turned off. She was able to stop on the side of the road but couldn't figure out how to get the car started as everything seemed fine. The woman called her husband and as soon as he got in, it started. After getting home and placing the doll on the ground, 
the dog came in from the back garden and immediately ran over to the doll. He growled and cowered down on the floor and backed away. The following day, she had donated the doll. One year later, the woman was cleaning her room looking for something when she came across a box. To her disbelief, on top of it was the doll. She called her friend who is a huge believer in the paranormal. She came in and walked down the hall towards the kitchen and froze. She said she got really cold and had goosebumps. When she saw the doll, she said that it was haunted by an evil manipulative spirit. The friend said that it needs to be given to someone who is aware and knows how to handle possessed items. A woman's lover left her alone in her Georgia home, so she turned to dark magic to seek revenge. A witch showed her how to perform horrible curses on the man. The woman was consumed by her hatred and sadness, so the witch showed her how to imbue all the negative energy into this doll. The woman died and the house went up for auction. The new owners cleaned out the residence and found many strange things. One of them was this doll. It was found surrounded by old burnt down candles, ritual tools and animal bones. The owner stated that only someone with experience should purchase this doll. So that was 5 haunted dolls sold on eBay. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.